All right, well, we just got a text from uh, our son, or should I say your son, and he, he just said soon. <laughs> He's working on it. He's working on it. Uh, that's good. Uh, yes, Jody, you can do that. She's asking, can we really swap out our Martys? Yes, you can. Okay, so this week's, the, this week's meme was perfect. What really happened at Stonehenge? We finally have the answer. Is basically Angry Birds took oh, out Stonehenge. Oh, I see. <laughs> they were all it plopped took me a up. Second. And then Angry Birds, and now this is what you got. I thought that was, that was pretty clever. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, we wanted to uh, shout out someone, uh, Helga, Helga Stencil, who is a, a Russian born artist who is based in, in London. And she works across a wide range of media including illustration, photography, video, and stop motion animation. But one of the things about her is instead of tossing an old pair of pants or t-shirt, she puts her tired garments out to pasture. Oh. And she takes, this is clothes, you guys. This is one of her uh, photographs, pieces of art. This is smoothie. And this is just clothes on a clothesline. Hmm. And uh, her practice she calls household surrealism, which I love. And she said it's derived from her child in Siberia, where she spent hours surveying her grandmother's carpet, birch logs, and random objects for recognizable forms, <laughs> including a stack of buckets resembling the Tower of Pisa. So here is Pegasus. This oh. is a horse, and it's got these little clothespins there. Like, so awesome, right? Oh Here's goodness. another one. Hang on. It's a pol oh. pol polar bear. Uh, but then, so she's got some of these, um, and her website, uh, I think Jenna, if she hasn't put that up there, uh, she will. I think we have a link to her website so you can see all of her art. But then she's got, like, like take a look at this. Ben, this one's for you, buddy. Uh, it's corn, or is it? Oh. Or is it minifig heads? That is so cool. Like, it plays with your brain. Right? Yeah, pretty, I love that. Pretty rad. And then, uh, how about Brad Pet? Oh, Brad Pets! <laughs> you know I love that. I know. Brad That's for you. Uh, so here's what Helga says, and this is this is great. She says, to me, household surrealism is about finding magic in the mundane, mm. seeing beauty and imperfections, and connecting to our reality in a new way. Mm. I love noticing playful similarities. Be it, by the way, I I don't I don't I've never met Helga. I would love to someday. I can only imagine that if she's Russian born and lives in London, she's got to have like the coolest accent of oh, all time, right? Yeah. Like, I don't even know what a hybrid would be. I wonder if she's got more of the Russian accent or mm -hmm. if she's taken on more of the London accent and it's like snuck in there. I don't know. It's got to be awesome, but I digress. She <laughs> says, I love noticing playful similarities, be it a sweater on a clothing line looking like a horse or a slice of bread resembling a dog's head. It's only the starting point, though. From this moment onward, the stories and visuals start buzzing in my head. What will this horse look like? What's her name and character? Does she like racing with other horses? The list goes on and on and on. I hope that my art will help people to connect with their inner child and rediscover the joy of savoring little visual delights in and outside their homes. Wow. Helga. Talk about wonder and whimsy, by the way. Right? I mean, being able to have your imagination come alive around the house. That's the part that's kind of like top level adult I is fighting. Right. Right. Yeah. It, what, I, what I loved about this, it reminded me a little bit. It fit in with the, the Stonehenge because I think like when I create my art, that's kind of what I do. Like mm -hmm. I think of I look at Stonehenge. I'm like, what does this look like to me? And so then to me, it looked like ice cream sandwiches or I did one a while ago where uh, macarons reminded me of ufos like spaceships so i i painted a macaron with a uh sucking up a tractor beam from a, of a cow right a cow coming getting sucked up and so there's that a similar thinking but then i thought of like your photography and the the hearts and how you mm -hmm. see hearts in different things kind of like how she said i, I saw a dog's face in the part of piece of a bread so, That's so cool. um, super good I um, think that's going to be an interesting invitation now, like as far as letting your imagination and creativity come alive in new ways. Like, I think both of us can relate to this in different ways. right? Yeah. So I think there's a, a big opportunity for all of us there to, to, I just, I'm inspired 
that she helps us to see the world in new ways. Mm-hmm. And that's what we're all about. Yeah. And uh, super cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Jenna put up the website, Helga mm-hmm. Um I can go back to her, uh, her picture here, Helga Stencil. Dot com. Uh, check out her work. She has cool. her, her more. She has more stuff. You're gonna love it, and uh, you can get stuff on her store and all that stuff. So, uh, thank you for bringing more awesomeness into the world, Helga. We salute you and we appreciate you as an adult itis fighter. Yeah.